Good morning, everyone. My name is Paul, and I am a nerd, and you are lucky enough to be here for our December 2019, the last one of the year, our December 2019 Coffee Pot webinar, where today we are talking to Blake Roberts about LawPay's new integration into tabs three for billing and, and, and trust accounting. So uh, without any further ado, I'm going to hit the button to stop sharing my screen so that uh, Blake can share his and tell us a little about himself and the company and start talking about LawPay. All right. Thanks, Paul. Yeah, I'm very excited to be here today. Um, my name is Blake Roberts, as Paul mentioned. I'm our partnerships manager here at LawPay. Um, and so I've been here for about four years, uh, for the past two years working specifically with our integration partners um, like Tabs3 um, and a lot of the other practice management, time and billing that we work with. So we're very excited uh, that this past year we've been able to integrate with Tabs3. Uh, we're super thrilled to be partnered with them. Uh, we just love working with that staff and we know it's a great product that um, a lot of you love and use and we're so glad to be a part of it now. Um, and so, you know, kind of going on with that, um, just wanted to give a brief history of LawPay. I'm sure most of you have heard about us, especially if you're here today. Um, but yeah, we started in 2004 um, and typically worked with uh, under the name of Finipay, which if you have a LawPay account, I'm sure you've seen those statements that come from a Finipay. So Finipay did processing for state bar associations and other nonprofits. Um, one day our founder was uh, sitting with a state bar of Texas rep uh, and there was this glaring need for uh, credit card payments in the legal industry. And so that's how LaPay formed. So in 2007, we launched LaPay, uh, which is a brand of Affinipay. Um, and here we are today. So we have about um, one in four law firms, a little over 40,000 law firms using our product now, uh, taking payments with us on a daily basis. Uh, we have 50 state bar endorsements. So we're partnered with all 50 state bars, uh, ranging from a member benefit or just a sponsor with them as well as over 100 local and specialty bars, um, in, including the ABA. Um, and so, yeah, really what makes us different from any other credit card processor, so a PayPal or a bank merchant services, um, is our specific niche in legal. So we tailor everything we do to um, meet the needs of law firms. Our support staff is trained on you know, how law firms run their business and how we can make sure that our support is relevant to what uh, law firms are doing on a daily basis. Um, you know, we, we make sure that everything we do is only going to enhance how you run your, your practice um, and work on those payments and things like that. Um, the other big differentiator is our trust accounting. Um, so with our product, you can take payments directly into your trust or your operating account um, and never have to worry about any commingling of funds. Um, what we do is we deposit the full dollar amount of every payment into your bank account. Um, so if you take a $1,000 payment, $10,000 payment, you'll see the full funds deposited within two business days. And then we debit all the fees at the end of each month from just your operating account. So we never touch your trust account. We make sure it's 100% secure uh, and compliant with all of the state bar regulations, um, which is why we've gained the endorsements of those as we work with each of each individual bar to make sure that what we're doing um, meets their standards and their needs as far as taking payments into a trust account. Um, but yeah, and then so today I'm going to show you a little bit of the law pay dashboard and then Paul is going to go over the tabs integration uh, after I'm done with that. Uh, but just wanted to give you a little high level look at what our proprietary product looks like. Um, it's very similar to what the integration, some of the features that I'm going to show you are very similar to what the integration does. Um, but this is a great way because even if you are utilizing the tabs three integration, you're still a full law pay customer. So you'll have access to this dashboard, you'll be able to make charges, um, view transactions, and everything that goes through your tabs integration will also show up in here. So this is a good single point of data um, for you to look at all your transactions, manage those if you need to, um, and so forth and so on. So first things first, this is the home page. So when you log into your LawPay account, you'll see um, some graphics. Obviously, if you get started right off the bat, it'll take a while to get um, you know, some of the graphics going. Um, but this is just kind of a nice landing page for you to see um, different metrics on your payment trends. Um, you know, was it staff entered? Was it through an integration? Was it through um, our scheduled payment feature? Um, you can see your top clients. So maybe, you know, we'd want to send Lloyd Blaine here uh, a, a gift basket or something because he's paid a lot more than all of the others. Um, so it's just kind of a nice, nice piece to come and look at data 
Um, it looks nice. You can schedule it. You can switch it out between different time frames. Um, but yeah, the meat of it is going to be here on our charge button. So on the charge button, when you sign up for a LawPay account, you have the option to sign up with just one bank account for deposits or two. Um, as I mentioned, you can take payments into both your operating and your trust if you want to. Um, and then as well, you can have as many bank accounts linked to this as, uh, as you need. So if, you have a, if you're a large firm and you have multiple trust accounts or multiple operating accounts, um, we can add all of those on there and we can map them all directly. So if, if one trust account needs to be, uh, have fees debited from a certain operating account, uh, we can set that up. So this is a really customizable um, setting as far as what accounts you have, um, where you're not going to get that with a lot of other payment uh, processors is that that focus on, you know, making sure that the bank accounts are going to the right places. Um, but real quick, so on here, so you'll, you'll see on the charge tab, any of these, any bank account that you have. So for this test account, we just have a operating uh, and a trust account. And so to take a payment, you can log in, and you can click accept payment and you'll be able to fill this out for your client um, either if they're in the office or you can have them fill it out right there um, and so this is completely customizable to your firm so you'll be able to go through and add remove any of these fields we can help you add new things we can edit um, all of those and this is also just a, a fyi this is very similar to what the integration looks like in tap so when when paul's going over that here in a second you'll be able to when you send out the invoices to your clients they'll get a link on their invoice and it's going to open up a page very similar to this where they'll be able to fill everything out and that'll automatically update in your tabs um, integration or in your tabs dashboard um, one other thing i want to show with this is on the actions tab you can actually open this in a new tab um, so that same payment page, you can open it and it's just its own URL. And so what a lot of people will do is they'll send this to their client. Um, this is similar to the link that's sent through the tabs integration. Um, so you'll be able to send this link through your invoices on tabs. You'll also be able to, if you want to add this to your payment or your website. Um, so that's one very popular function that a lot of firms take advantage of is adding this URL uh, to their website so they can make the payment. Another thing that we talk about and we consult law firms is Maybe you have someone who's taking payments that you don't necessarily want them to have to go log into something um, every time they need to take a payment. Um, a lot of times firms will have their admins just bookmark these uh, payment links on their uh, web browser so that they can just open this up. They don't have to log in. They can make the payment right there and then it'll still update in law pay. Uh, and what's nice is each of these, each bank account will have their own specific URL. So we have one for operating, one for trust so that way you can keep everything separate. Um, once a payment's made, the client will get an email notification as well as the law firm. So whoever you have set up as a user in LawPay to get the, uh, the email uh, completion will get it. And then you can go in and you'll see it'll be authorized. When the payments batch out at night, they'll turn into completed. Um, and that's where you can go in and edit uh, or send receipts, refund, recharge. And so any payment that's made, whether it's in the uh, tabs integration or within LawPay will show up here. So this is kind of nice because you can see an all encompassing view. Um, and one of the nice things about the tab integration as well uh, is that we've built in with tabs uh, help, you can pull these payments. So if someone makes a payment through your LawPay link on your website, um, you can sync it with the tabs and we call it unassociated payments. So you can actually go and pull all of your transactions that weren't made in tabs and pull them into tabs and associate them with a client or a matter. Um, and then vice versa, if you make a payment in tabs, like I said, it's going to show up in here. And there's some things in the law pay dashboard that you can do with these transactions. Um, if you need to, you can issue a refund. And this is this goes for whether the payment's made in here or in tabs. Um, so you can issue a refund. If it's the same day, you can void it. Um, another popular feature is the recharge card. Um, so if you have an agreement with your client that at a certain point you can recharge the card, um, or you know, funds are low in the retainer or trust account, you can click recharge and actually create a completely different transaction. It'll create a completely different um, everything for it. So 100% new uh, from that same payment. So as long as you have one payment from your client and an agreement that they'll pay you if, after a certain amount, um, you don't even have to send them another request. You can recharge that card right there uh, and create everything. So that way it, it'll speed up your collections. You don't have to wait for anything. Um, another popular function, which I'll go into later, uh, just a second, is the create a scheduled payment. So you can create a recurring payment from a uh, previous payment in the past. Um, and 
set it up for uh, a payment plan, things like that. Um, resend re uh, receipt, if they needed another receipt, you could do that as well. Um, but this, this transaction page is gonna show you kind of all of the summary details of everything you need, um, as well as it's searchable. So you can search it by name. If you have a reference uh, item in there, you can search it by reference, invoice number, um, things like that. It's gonna show you who took the payment. So if you're hunting down Lloyd Blaine again to find out you know, why he took a $100 payment for this ha ha person, um, this is the place to go. Um, different tags, things like that. So um, next thing I wanna show you real quick is just our scheduled payments. This is something that we hope to build into the tabs integration eventually. Right now, it's just gonna be those payments through the invoice link. Um, but this is where you can actually go and set up a payment plan for someone um, so if you have uh, a recurring service fee that you want to charge them, or if you want to set them up um, on a payment plan to pay off a balance, you can go in here and actually do that. So you can set it up for any type of amount. Um, you can set it up to charge today or later in the month or schedule it out, you know, in the future. Um, and there's many different frequencies. So it's every two months, every month, um, at annually, things like that. So this is a great option. Um, if you're doing uh, any sort of payment plans, or even if you just want to schedule a one-time payment in advance, um, this feature is just kind of one of those set it and forget it. Um, and then that way, once the payment's made, it automates on that day that you schedule it. Both you and your client still get an email confirmation letting you know that it's on its way. Uh, and one thing I failed to mention, when you take a payment, the nice thing about credit card payments is you know immediately that the funds are, are there. So it'll, it'll fail if there's no funds are not enough, it'll fail if the card is uh, declined. Um, but if it says completed and authorized, you know the funds are on their way to your account. And it takes two business days and you'll see those funds deposited on the morning of the second business day um, into your account. So you don't have to worry about uh, it bouncing after the card is run. Um, it's not like a check or anything like that. Um, anytime you take a payment with a credit card, that's the nice thing is it's security and knowing that the funds are there and they're headed your way. Um, one last thing I want to show you real quick before I hand it back over to Paul is our uh, reporting. So this is really helpful when you're doing reconciliation. Um, this will, uh, you'll be able to pull this out because what happens is if you take multiple payments in a day with LawPay, um, we do batch them all out together uh, at the end of the day. So in, in the evening, you'll see all of your payments batched out for the day. So if you took four $1,000 payments, the deposit you'll see two days later is going to be for five thousand or for four thousand dollars, so it's going to be all batched together. So when you're running your reconciliation reports, you can go back and see. Um, you can pull it either by month or daily, um, and you can actually match up your deposits from your bank account with the law pay. So we'll look at this one for instance. On September fourth, I had a deposit of. $2,550 and it was comprised of three payments. So if I wanna know what those payments were, I can dig down and see each of those payments in that deposit to make sure that I'm reconciling everything correctly. So this is really helpful too. The fact that you're gonna be using the tabs integration makes it a little bit easier because it's already associated with the client. Um, so you're not in the matter, you're not gonna to have to go in too much to go do this, but this is a helpful report if you need to um, go check for any of that. Um, and yeah, so I mean, a couple more things I just want to mention on LaPay, you know, our support team is we pride ourselves on answering the phone within one ring um, from 7 a.m. Central Time to 7 p.m. Central Time. Um, you know, we are growing like crazy and we love it and we're working with so many different law firms and it's just a very fortunate situation for us. But one thing that we're not keeping our uh, foot off the pedal on is our support. Um, that is key for us, and it's one thing that we find a lot of people are frustrated about um, when they are coming from other processors is just the lack of support. You can call our line at any time of the day between 7 and 7, and you will get a voice on the phone within one ring, and, and that's something that we really pride ourselves on, um, as well as our security. So all of your information is secure. The TABS integration as well was built uh, with the top PCI level compliance. Um, so your information, your client's information is never at any um, risk or anything like that. And once again, with the trust accounting, we keep, make sure that it is 100% secure um, and protected from any, any potential danger that, uh, you know, there may be with merchant processors. Um, so, yeah, but that's it for me. I'm going to pass it back over to Paul and let him continue talking about uh, the tabs integration. Awesome. Thanks, Blake. Let me get my screen shown here. That's number three. 
and we'll take a look. Now, there's it, there's there's not much to show here because it it really is simply a matter of adding a payment. Um, some of the people that are attending, I know, are using a different method of um, of processing payments that also integrates with TAB. So we're going to talk about some differences there. Um, but when you go to make a payment, you select the appropriate law pay payment method. More on that in a second. And really, if if you've already entered the method, uh, it, uh, it it just integrates with, with law pay and makes that payment. Now, that's a little different than the way that the other processor does it. The other processor doesn't have this little link here that I'll explain in a sec. And instead, what they do is uh, as soon as you go to save it, it pops up a screen where you can put the credit card in. Now, that right there is one of the major significant differences not only major, but significant. <laughs> I love that. Um, one of the major differences uh, between the other processor and law pay. When I add a law pay payment method using this link here, I put in the appropriate details, and then that payment left method will show up under this drop down when that client, when a matter for that client is selected. So anybody that's using the other method knows that that's significant because when you save credit card information uh, in the other method, the other processors uh, integration, you're saving it at a matter level. So if you have a client with 24 different matters and they pay them all with credit cards uh, and they get new matters that they're going to pay with credit cards, you have to enter that credit card information every matter. Now it'll save it for the matter, but here in the law pay integration, it saves it at a client level. So if that same client has uh, 25 matters in the law pay integration, you enter that credit card information to pay those bills once. Uh, it's saved with law pay in a very secure way so that you don't have to worry about compliance and, and, all, and saving credit card details and having them hacked or whatever that, you know, whatever may happen because you're not doing that, but you're saving it at a client level. And then that's going to be available as a part of the drop down. And it'll just be, uh, you'll see the person's credit card, well, not their details, but their reference to their credit card, and you, you'll apply it to that credit card. And you can have multiple law pay payment methods per client. They may say, well, pay, you know, pay this month with this credit card, but next month they may tell you to pay with a different credit card. Now, this is the integration on the payment entry screen where you're processing the credit card yourself. So if somebody simply calls you and says, hey, I want, I want to pay my bill with a credit card, you add the law pay payment method, you process it against that, and it's processed against law pay, and, and the integration's pretty much built right into tabs. The other method that Blake mentioned is that, um, of course, you can send uh, statements electronically through email, and that email can have a link for the payment, and that email can then... Um, uh, that, that client can then get that email and click that link and pay that bill right there. Now, that means, of course, that there will be a, a little uh, payment to process item over here. So you'll get in the next day after three, you've sent out a bunch of bills and three people paid them online, and you'll see a little indicator, kind of like the check for updates, but it'll show you uh, process.